Hi folks, today we would be discussing or understanding what is buyer persona and how to create one for yourself. So for this purpose, I would be using this beautiful tool provided by HubSpot and primarily it's free. It's interesting, right? So first and foremost, let us understand what is a buyer persona and why is it important to you know, understand your buyer persona and how to conduct research, surveys and interviews to build your own. So you have a complete literature provided by HubSpot itself and just see what it is all about. So what is a buyer persona? A buyer persona is a semi-fictional representation of your ideal customer based on market research and real data without or, you know, without just any guesswork and it's trying to replicate or simulate your existing customer so a buyer persona is a semi-fictional representation of your ideal customer which is derived or which is created or represented through market research proven or substantiated with solid quantitative data okay so it's a true representation or a simulation of your ideal customer so this is what the definition of buyer persona further if i want to understand why we should use a buyer persona buyer personas provide structure and context for your company now whenever i wish to create a product okay i am working on a product or a product idea or a marketing campaign i would be clearly able to visualize the exact person for whom i am creating the product or I'm creating the service or the campaign, who is the recipient of my message. So am I speaking the exact jargon, exact language, exact lingo, what they understand. So buyer persona provides that structure and context for your company. So it makes it easier to map out your content or allocate your team's time and resources because I exactly know what are the features, traits, professions, occupations there behavioral traits or maybe their educational qualifications or their uh, let us say the you know affiliations with various organizations right what kind of clubs do they attend okay whatever information rich information i have about my ideal customer so that helps us get deeper into the nuances which could appeal to them okay and by doing all this we can achieve or align across our organization and achieve our goals fine so this is important to use the buyer persona moving on now let us see how should i use a persona this is very very important learning about your ideal customer their challenges their pain points their aspirations their goals their demographic traits their behavior and so on what not right so this helps you to set a strategy aimed at attracting the most valuable visitors, leads and customers to your business. So your campaigns, your content, your efforts become more targeted and it can lead to more conversions. OK, so this is why you should use a buyer persona. Now, how do I create one? So a free guide is provided to you by HubSpot you can definitely you know uh, download it analyze it study it and start using it there are so many free templates available over there on hubspot which can be easily used for any of your content creation programs okay so i would be just giving you a brief demonstration of a tool provided by hubspot and trust me this is an amazing and awesome tool so going on let us see now this is the tool make uh, make my persona tool okay so let us build my persona uh, to give you a context let us say i am uh, working or i am creating content for an edtech company an educational technology ed education technology company and my product probably or i am targeting those people who wish to migrate okay they wish to uh, go for us for higher studies so probably i'm tentatively targeting those students who have probably finished their masters in india and they wish to go abroad primarily us the northern us okay so they're probably they are intending to take gre okay 
and uh, TOEFL and this is the basic context okay so let us try to build a buyer persona for my study abroad program okay so my edtech company provides uh, the programs or preparatory programs for GRE and TOEFL so my students okay or my buyer would be those students who have just finished their masters okay so let us try to see how it works so build my persona let's go and start with that so let's give a name okay give a name to my persona let us say i give a name arjun i do this okay why is this step important because this humanizes all your behavior persona it gives a human feel and appeal to your persona both name and avatar it gives you that you know the human charisma and we start feeling for them and we start understanding them better okay so i'm giving a name arjun so my arjun would be somewhat you know I, as i told you they have finished their masters probably he would look somewhat like this okay so this is the avatar i've uh, selected so i have just kept this you know this is a walkthrough mode i've kept this so that you get to know why this step is important okay so i'm choosing a name and i'm choosing an avatar to create a human appeal for my persona okay so moving on to the step two how old they would be as i told you they would be just they have finished their masters so probably they would be around 24 or 25 so i would say like they would be maybe around 24 let us see will this be fine okay they would be somewhere between 18 to 24 perfect okay because probably somebody could go to us after their plus two as well right so 18 to 24 is their demographic trait and what is the highest degree or level of school your persona has completed as we know masters so diploma then high school degree equivalent or let us see masters do we have masters some college or no degree and going further associate degree bachelor's degree master's degree okay so they have completed their no actually they would have completed their bachelor's degree then they would go for masters right so let us yeah this is their bachelor's degree fine now what industry do they work in right now they are in not in any industry they are not working but probably they could be in uh let us say they are my students so sales finance management do i have anything related to students probably not so i can leave this aside what's the size of their organization probably they are in colleges and ideally there would be around let us say 500 okay so anyway this would be ideal hmm. so now what is their job title so i would say they are students how is their job measured maybe their job is measured by academic performance like cgpa and why do they report to or who do they report to they would report to their maybe their professors okay so i go to the next step the characteristics of their job okay let us say they need to do their assignments okay they need to uh, appear for their exams projects capstone okay so these are some goals or objectives that they wish to achieve what are the biggest challenges okay their big, biggest challenges could be probably communication problem solving and decision making because there would be a lot of you know problems that they need to solve and they have to take a decision which universities to apply and all that stuff they also may lack resources collaboration and creativity okay professional development so all these things could be their pain points okay and uh, what are their job responsibilities their job responsibilities would be preparation maybe for their exams okay 
projects academic projects dissertation and so on okay so this way you end, uh, enter the job responsibilities now how do they work what tools they do they use or need to do their job maybe what kind of tools they would require uh, word processing programs yes and uh, maybe email these are the tools they use yes and how do they prefer to communicate with vendors or other businesses they would prefer to communicate through phone obviously they would prefer to communicate through email obvious text messaging yes social media and maybe face to face but i'm since i'm an edtech company but they do face to face right so how do they gain information for their job okay maybe they gain information through online search engines okay official websites okay and what social networks do they belong to they now these guys would be there on facebook they would be on insta they would be on twitter as well they would be on linkedin i doubt on pinterest okay so that's it this is the in information that you need to punch in so all these things okay you would see on the left hand side you get to know the rationale the logic behind this step okay so once this is done you are done okay now your persona is created now this is the persona of your arjun okay so the name is arjun the job title is student age all these things so whatever you have entered it's all here okay now one small you know thing that you can easily work out is the aesthetics of it that is you have your color scheme now whichever color you wish to use okay i would prefer to have it more gray okay so now everything turns to gray now you want a pink kind of a thing everything turns pink red okay so this way you can change the color scheme as well fine so i believe this was informative and useful and moreover if you wish to add any sections you could add it over here okay so this is how you can create a buyer persona trust me amazing okay and when you are doing a uh, some kind of an assignment or project on content marketing this is an invariable tool that would help you and you can create nice looking okay neat looking buyer personas fine now this is how now another this uh, you know you can just change this i missed out in the beginning you can change the sequence if you wish like yeah these tiles could be easily moved so if you wish this style should come here so you can juggle these tiles as well fine that's it so i hope you found this tool to be useful and this session to be informative if you liked it do share it with your friends spread the good word thank you for watching bye have a great day